Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha Malayala. There are few quick updates for all the JEE mains aspirants out there. So as you guys know, results are out. I'll show you how to check the results, how to download the rank card and uh, what are all the things you need to take care with the rank card. That I will say. And in this video, I'm also going to show you one more notice regarding your session to registration. And the third thing is how you should calculate your rank. So approximate rank. I'll uh, be talking on these three things in this particular video. So without taking much time, let's get into the video and you can use the timestamps below in the description. Okay. And guys, uh, please do subscribe the channel for more regular content related to entrance exams for engineering. And uh, without taking much time, let's get into the video. So if you see here, I am at the official website of JE Mains uh, 2022. If you see, there is one notice regarding the second session registration. So registration is again open. So as they already said, once the results are out of session one, they will open the session to registration. The same thing they did and the duration of reopening of application form is 11th July to 12th July up to 11 PM in the night. Today, today is 12th June, right? So today till 11 o'clock night in the, in the night, 11 o'clock, you have the chance to reapply your session two of J E Mains 2022 and payment should be done. That is 650 rupees by 11 50 PM. Another extra 50 minutes will be given to complete your free payment so that is about registration today till 11 o'clock you have the chance try to complete the registration if you didn't do okay now you can check your results so there are these links in this uh, particular page so you can use any link so you have to uh, download the scorecard and keep it with you try to take some printouts and uh, keep it in your file so that is the best thing i wanted to suggest you so later on it won't create a problem so if you see your application number date of birth and uh, case sensitive uh, security pin we have to enter and click on submit so you guys can see here this is the rank card so the total percentile is given here so okay so you can just check the results here like according to the subject wise and total percentile is mentioned here on the right you have the option called print just click that print and uh, take click on save so this is how you need to download your scorecard and keep it safe and try to take some printouts of that and uh, just uh, keep it with you with you in your file safely so now i'll be showing you how one should calculate your percentile so for example uh, let's say uh, you got a percentile so according to the je mains official nta people so they are saying that almost like 9 9 lakhs 30000 people have attempted the exam so 9 lakh 30000 or 9 lakh 33000 somewhere around this so these people these many people attended the exam so now let's divide this by 900 9, uh, 9 lakhs 33000 divided by 100 so which is like 9330 right just keep this aside and let's say your percentile is 99.456 okay let's say 456 789 okay so let's say this is your percentile so according to this so what you have to do is now you have to subtract this percentile from 100 so 100 minus 99.456789 into you have to multiply with this which is 9330 5068 so that means around 5000 approximately around 5000 the rank will be there mostly so that's how it's going to be around 5000 to 5100 5.1k so the rank will be there the same thing if you got a percentile called 99 if you got 99 100 minus 99 into 9330 so this uh, is which is equals to 9330 9330 so that means you can say from 9300 to 9400 the rank will be there that is approximate so the thing is what is this 9 lakh 33000 that is the number of students who attempted the exam if the number of students attempted the exam is more than that if more than that so usually if i wanted to do approximation usually i say like one percentile is equals to 10,000 members, 10k members. So this is my usual approximation. If I say like if at all a person got 99 percentile exactly, I would say around 10k you will be getting for sure. So that's how I used to do approximation. But this year they said that 9 lakh 33,000 students attempted the exam. So we have the thing. So I, I usually take it as 10 lakhs. So that's why I calculated 10k. That's all. So now the thing is one more thing. I what I wanted to say is here. For example, if only 8 lakhs 50,000 members attended the exam 8 lakhs 50,000 members attended the exam so divided by 100 which is 8,500 so for the same 99 percentile here the person is getting 9,330 rank okay but what if uh, with the same percentile when the students are less 100 minus 99 so he got 99 percentile when uh, students attempted is 8 lakhs 50,000 into 8,500 okay so the rank will be around 8,500 so you see if there is a less number of students attempting the exam so you'll get the good rank so that's how it's going to be there and i think now you can guess your calculation so you can take either 9 lakh 
थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड दैट इज नाइन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी और टेन जस्ट टेक टेन थाउजेंड सो यू कैन टेक एनी थिंग सो आई वुड से इधर दिस और दिस इज गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर यू सो एंड यू कैन जस्ट अप्रोक्सीमेट यूर रैंक सो दैट्स अबाउट दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू गट ए वेरी गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन आउट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज डू शेयर दिस वीडियो टू ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सी इन द नेक्स्ट वन एंड दिल दैन टेक ए बाय जय हिंद